Why is this bad and this good? Is it just that I prefer how the second one looks? Would someone who prefers the first one be wrong to do so? Even if our responses to art are mainly subjective, don't we have personal standards for our preferences? And to what extent are these innate or learned? Greater minds than mine have wrestled with these aesthetic problems for millennia. Plato, Aristotle, Thomas Aquinas, Kant, Hegel, Heidegger, all try to systematize aesthetics to define what we mean by beauty. But my having read these works and the inevitable influence that they had on my responses still wouldn't help me in a conversation necessarily with someone who preferred example number one. So, okay, my personal reasons for preferring the Acoma Pueblo pot are the way it curves from the shoulder to the opening, the decoration, which is as pure and rhythmic as something by Franz Klein or Barnett Newman, the sureness and regularity of the mark making in a medium where the slightest wobble would be glaringly obvious or evidence of a skilled hand, the fine balance of black and off-white in the glazes. These features all derive from artists who have learned their skill through thousands of hours of practice to the point where they have crossed the threshold of mere skill and entered a stage where whatever they make is an expression of art. Art as artfulness, art as making, but art as the expression of an idea and beauty that arises from the perfect union of each.